Welcome back everyone to Siege Week. This is Siege Battle number two. I'm Pixelated Apollo. Thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, I can't believe we're already on Siege Battle number two. That is crazy. Time is going by fast. Pretty soon we're going to be at the end of the sixth Siege Battle and be like, what happened? What happened to the time? But for now, let us sit back and enjoy every moment of this beautiful Siege Battle. And the great thing about this Siege Battle is that it's in the Crusader expansion. And all of the expansions are glorious because of one word, Manganel. There is a lot of Manganels in this siege battle. Hopefully we get to see some epic shots. But uh, look at this. Look at this. The defenders are being really, really aggressive here. And they're going for a horse archer strategy, which is really, really interesting. Usually when you see defenders be aggressive with their cav like this, they usually get like lancers or a good melee cav because they're able to go in, kill an artillery, and then go out. The problem with horse archers is that they sit around. Look at that. They've already lost a bunch of horse archers. They kind of sit around, don't really do anything. They don't really accomplish anything other than harass the enemy for a little bit. So it looks like the Byzantine Empire who's on the attacking team. He's got some, some horse archers of his own. He's got some Byzantine cav here firing down and trying to weaken the numbers of the Papal States. So uh, yeah, you know what, let's just go ahead and go over the army comps. And I'm going to do the same thing like I did in the last battle where I didn't really go into detail. I just showed the army comp and I'm going to move on just because there's so many factions. It's going to take forever. So let's go ahead and get started with the attackers, starting with the Holy Roman Empire commanded by P. Griffion. So he's got a nice army here. Uh, I love the Imperial Knights and the Feudal Knights. Uh, I, I really can't complain about this army. The only thing I don't like about this army is the Forlorn Hope. I'm not a big fan of them, but it's always nice to see them because we don't get to see them too often. And he has some Gothic Knights, so there you go. There you go. Alright, so another ally here of the attackers. We have Christopher Batter and, yeah, Jerusalem. Glorious. The red and white. Glorious. Look, look at this. I love the Templar crossbowmen, and of course, they've got the Great Cross to give the men extra morale. Very, very cool. So let's check out the other armies here. Other armies here. Over here, we have the Byzantine Empire, commanded by Drunk. And I think this is my favorite army in this uh, attacking force. Not because they're the Byzantine Empire, just because he has a good mix of heavy infantry. He's got a Mangonel, he's got a Bombard. I think it's a pretty solid army. I like it. I like it a lot. And of course, he has archers, Byzantine guard archers. And the final attacking force, after this gate is destroyed. There we go. Carry on. Here we are. All right. So we have uh, another Kingdom of Jerusalem. So we have two armies of Kingdom of Jerusalem, and they're bro they're both bringing the Great Cross. So yeah, they have two Great Crosses. We're gonna see just a bunch of crosses everywhere. And unfortunately, even though this is a Crusader siege battle, there's no Islamic factions, which really bummed me out because they have some awesome units too. But I guess it's just this is just some uh, Christian feud, like whether baby Jesus had a beard or not, and that's what they're fighting over, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cool army here, Kingdom of Jerusalem, very cool. And that's, that's all the attackers, but it looks like the fighting is uh, getting pretty intense out here. Uh, what do we got? Jerusalem, killing off the Papal States. It's going to get a little bit confusing, guys, because Jerusalem looks just like the Papal States. So uh, yeah, that's why I have the little icons on the bottom right, just so you can... So you can know who's killing who. Just makes it a little bit less confusing. Uh, the uh, cab from Antioch is still out here. It looks like they're still ready to party. So maybe they're going to run around, try to get a couple more kills. But let's go ahead and check out the defenders and their army comps. We'll start with the first army here, the Principality of Antioch, commanded by Archduchy Wizzle, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I if I slaughtered your name, but I do that a lot. So don't don't take offense. It's actually an honor if I slaughtered your name. It's it is. All right. So yeah, he's got some Edison guard or Edison squires, or is it Edison? Is it Edison or Edison? I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna go with Edison. But yeah, Edison squires. They look amazing. They've got those kite shields and they have maces. Like that's so awesome. And then we have the Papal States, commanded by Shiwei, or Shiwi. And I like his army. I like the Papal States. Again, it's going to be a little bit confusing because they are fighting the uh, the uh, Cruce, the Kingdom of uh, King Kingdom of Jerusalem. Uh, but yeah, 
hopefully it won't get too confusing. And then we have another army of Principality of Antioch, and I'm pretty sure one of them is, is bringing a Great Cross, the Great Cross of Antioch. Somewhere, somewhere around here. Somewhere around the siege, there's a Great Cross. So there's just gonna be a bunch of Great Crosses everywhere. Um, but, and by the way, Papal States are bringing a lot of Swiss Guard. I forgot to mention that, but uh, that, that should be pretty fun to watch. Uh, so those are all the armies, guys, and I can assume that this battle is going to have a very, very long bombardment phase. Usually that happens with this type of siege environment in the Southern, Southern European Fortress. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward and start it back up once the battle truly begins. Oh, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a big cav fight going on out here. What's going on out here? Come on. Yeah, they're finishing off those uh, those horse archers. They're just getting them off the battlefield so they don't have to worry about them anymore. All right, guys. So that, that looks like that's it. Oh, well, they are fighting to the death. Okay, now they're breaking. Now they break. Oh, tragic. Tragic. So that's that little fight. And now we will fast forward. <laughs> Welcome to the fight, ladies and gentlemen. So finally, we have some infantry charging in. That was a very, very long bombardment phase. And pretty much every choke point. Look at this. Every single choke point has been destroyed. Now, nothing really happened during the bombardment phase other than just bombarding. Uh, there was a couple of small pockets of fighting, and the Manganel, unfortunately, was destroyed over here. I don't know why, but people get really, really aggressive with their Manganel, and most of the time, they just waste their shots because they're fire firing at a very small unit. And then the two pieces here got destroyed by artillery. I think the crew just died from like infantry or something. So whenever you have a mangonel, don't be so aggressive. Just use them very wisely and wait for the massive infantry fight. You know, when it's a big choke point, wait for the uh, mangonel to fire at that. Uh, because the mangonel, it doesn't have a very good range. And uh, it j it's just better short distances. And if there's a huge clumping of infantry, it will get a bunch of kills. But yeah, finally we do have infantry, infantry charging in. We've got Jerusalem and the Holy Roman Empire trying to push their way through. Looks like they got a very nice flank. The Papal States in Antioch, they flanked around the Feudal Knights. And this is a very, very poor charge, guys. This is a very bad, very, very bad charge. Um, never go in alone. Never send two units at a time. Just when you charge forward, use your whole force go through the choke points and just get ready with reserves you don't want to go in with just a couple but look at this the papal states are eager to come out and fight these uh what are they squires of tripoli and even edison look at this the edison squires are coming out against the byzantine boys look at that wow they're leaving their choke points they want to fight they're eager for blood blood and then over here, let's see. The, it looks like uh, the Kingdom of Jerusalem is being pushed out. Papal States are doing a great job fighting against them. We do have some reinforcements. Squires of Tripoli charging in. Gonna, gonna fight the Edison Guard here. Oh man, the Edison Guard. Look at them. Look at them. They're big old axes. Kicking people around, pushing them back. Oh my god, that guy just got flipped. That was amazing. That was amazing. And then we got the Great Cross over here, giving the men extra morale. Uh, though it's not really working. Look at that huge chain route over here. Uh, but let's go back to the fight over here, because this is a massive fight. Look at all the Byzantine lads trying to kill the Principality lads. <laughs> and this is really, really risky for the attackers to run out here and fight. We saw that in the last siege battle. It really exposes them to archer fire. But here, look at the reserves back here. Where's the mangonel? Send forward the mangonel. This would see this would be an ideal time for a mangonel. Look at all the kills you can get. And the it's not firing. Fire your mangonel. We want to see some explosions. <laughs> Byzantine Empire just kind of waiting, waiting for the right time to charge in. Oh, archers using fire arrows back here. Some Byzantine guard archers. Is their point of view? Oh man, right over their head, right over their uh, allies' heads there. Look at that, it's raining down fire upon the enemy. Now the defenders, they need to make it rain on their opponents. They they do have a mortar loading up right here. 
That's going to get some excellent shots. And if we go over here, the fight is... Oh, look at this. The uh, Squires of Tripoli charging in. They want to become knights. And they're going to do a glorious charge. So they're making some progress over here, but they need to send more support. That's not enough infantry. Uh, we do have more uh, Jerusalem troops headed that way. So that's, that's very good to see. Very, very good to see. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Yeah, the Manganel. The Manganel of Justice bringing down the sun upon the enemy. Oh, we're going to watch this. We're going to watch every single volley. That was awesome. I'm just glad I got the end of that volley. So that was amazing. Come on. Load it up again. Let's go back to the fight, though. We'll watch it from this point of view. Look out for the barrels in the sky. Look out for the barrels in the sky, man. They're, they'll explode on you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Boom. Oh, my God. Right, oh, my God. Right in the general's face. General's bodyguard barely getting out alive. And those poor Byzantine guard archers over here, they got evaporated. Gone. The sun is crashing down upon them. So a very, very brave stand by the Papal States here. And they are buying time for their Manganel. That is just lovely. Uh, the, the main concern over here, though, is uh, the Jerusalem. But it looks like they're pushing them back again. Oh, oh, here comes another volley. Oh, and, the main, oh, and then we've got the attackers Manganel firing back. Uh, yeah, you, you got to get that Manganel closer. There is no point to shoot it that far away. You need to get it closer because these barrels explode in mid-flight. Look at that. You're going to kill some of your own troops. Yep, yep. Get that Manganel. You want that Manganel as close as possible. As close as possible. Now we've got some uh, Edison Guard charging in. Edison Guard. We've got the uh, Templar. Oh, the flamethrowers. Look at that, guys. Look at this. The flamethrowers doing justice upon uh, Principality of Antioch. Hang on. Come on. There's so much fire and death in this episode. Get another volley, please. Please, for the... There we go. There we go. Oh, my... Yes. Good, good shooting there. Uh, the Manganel still crashing. Look at that. The Manganel is just from both sides firing away. Volleys are relentless. Just non-stop volleys. Kingdom of Jerusalem. They're making another push for this choke point. Here comes another volley. Oh, they're, oh, they're going for that general. They got a couple kills there. Okay, they're pushing in. The Byzantine dismounted Latin Con, they are pushing in. Gotta kill these defenders. You kill them, you will be victorious. That's that's the issue though, is killing them. It's a it's a pretty good challenge. Yeah, move up that Manganel. Ah, move it up. You're wasting those shots. Wasting those shots. Here comes another volley. Oh God, they got some kills. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, on the Great Cross. Oh man, the Great Cross is 50% destroyed. Uh, one more hit like that and it will be toast. It will be toast. But there is some major breaking by the defenders. That's a really good sign for the attackers. And there goes the mortar. Did you see that mortar round? That was amazing. Now we've got the uh, Great Cross of Antioch being pushed forward. They're like, no men, look to the cross. Fight, you must fight. Oh, fight. Oh my god, and then the Great Cross. Oh, it, oh the Great Cross is destroyed. <laughs> oh, that Manganel of Justice, that was a beautiful shot. That was such a great shot. Uh, the Papal State still sending out their Feudal Knights. They, they're they not giving up this position right here. They're, they're buying time for their, their artillery. They're trying to get as many kills as they can, and they've gotten a lot of kills, but again, there's still a lot of reserves. We still have, like, four units of untouched Varangian Guard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that killed a lot of their own units there. That's the risk, guys. That's the risk of a Manganel. It does a lot of damage, not only to the enemy, but to you as well. Here comes another Mortar Round. Boom. Manganel coming down. Ooh, again, killing some of his own troops, but he killed a lot of the enemy, too. Oh my god, this is redonkulous. Redonkulous. I could watch the Manganel for days. Like, it is so great. Oh, yeah, these men need to get moving. You do not want your men standing there when they have a Manganel. Because that is just an easy target for the Manganel. Come on, Latin Con. 
do it for the Byzantine Empire. Oh, some died there to the Mangonel fire. Here goes the charge. Oh my god. And, oh, look at this. Look at this. What is what is going on out here? Looks like Principality of Antioch is keeping back. Oh, we got a battle of two-handed swords here. We've got uh, Forlorn Hope versus the Cannons of the Holy Sepulcher. Look at that. Look at that. That is, that is a... That's a glorious fight of a bunch of troops with massive swords. Come on, men. Who has the better two-handed sword handling? We will soon find out. Oh, oh, look at this push by the Papal States. Pushing out here, trying to kill as many Byzantine, uh, Byzantine guard archers as they can. Oh, here comes a Manganel. Oh, oh! They killed the mortar crew, and they did some damage to the other Manganel. Look at that. There we go. See, that's that's some good shooting there. Still needs to move it forward. It's a waste, wasting that ammo. Most of your shots are going to miss. Here comes some uh, more dismounted Latincon trying to join the fight, trying to get their swords wet, trying to trying to create a story for their their grandsons one day. Oh, I charged in with my Latin Kong unit, Latin Con. Oh man. Byzantine though, or not Byzantine, the Papal States holding with a thin line of broken lances and feudal knights. Oh, there's just there's mangonels just all over the place. This this battle is littered with mangonels. But finally we have the attackers pushing forward, it looks like. Yep, they they broke through over here. This flank is exposed. And uh it looks like they're oh my god, look at all the troops left though. Oh my god, look at all the holy holy moly, look at all the holy sepulchers. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. And it's really laggy for some reason. I'm sorry about that. Uh, this battle has only just begun, guys. Only just begun. We're going to have a whole another fight inside the second layer wall. Uh, the attackers just need to break through the defenses here. And pretty soon they're going to do that. The broken lances will not hold for, so, for, for very long. Brave stand by the broken lances, though. Outnumbered, outmatched, but yet they fight. They fight for the great, great cross of Antioch. And then we have the kingdom of Jerusalem sending in their knights of Jerusalem against the knights of Antioch. Oh, and the knights of Antioch are going to be victorious today. At least they, they broke some of them. They need to send in more support here. Because if they can get these guys fighting, they can break through and flank around and kill these guys. Come on, send in your finest troops. There we go, more forlorn, forlorn hope. Manganel firing down. Oh, yeah, save your ammo. They need to save their ammo for this final stand over here because this is going to be a very difficult stand. And I believe the Manganel is out of ammo, unfortunately. So that might be the end of uh, the Manganel action, which, which is pretty tragic. Pretty tragic indeed. Man, they're fighting at this wall again. Antioch pushing them back out. That's got to be very, very frustrating to watch. If you're rooting for the kingdom of Jerusalem, that is. If you're rooting for the defenders, then you're like, heck yeah, push them back. <laughs> oh, he's sending these troops out to party. There we go. Here comes uh, reinforcements from the Holy Roman Empire, some Imperial Knights. Followed, followed by some Byzantine, uh, Byzantine soldiers. More Imperial Knights fighting. Oh, here we go. Here's a good flank. Come on, flank around. Fire at those uh, Knights of Antioch. Knights of Antioch. Do it to it. Do it to it, boys. Where are they going? Oh, I see. They're running away. <laughs> yeah, get away from those guard. They will chop you into pieces. But here we go. The attackers are breaking through. They're storming the streets. But again, it is far from over. The defenders are just regrouping. They did a tactical retreat. They still have a lot of their forces left. It's mostly the Principality of Antioch. We do have some Papal States Swiss Guard for the final push, the final stand against such evil hate. <laughs> here comes a big fight over here. Imperial Knights pushing through. 
they're, they're not slowing down. They're, they're just going to do a full-on push, try to get the defenders off guard. Uh, though I think the, de the defenders are well prepared for this. Their defenses near the town center look pretty tough to kill. Pretty tough. Here comes a ranging guard. What are they doing? They're doing a stare down with the Edison guard. Two guards stare at each other. They respect each other, but they will kill each other. Here we go. Ranging guard, OP. Of course they outnumber them, so it's not really a fair fight. So, Oh my god. Oh. A, a brutal fight there, guys. Oh, I'm trying to do some sweeps. We're, we already saw a couple sweeps there. There they go. Dead. Dead. Varangian Guard pretty much untouched still. Byzantine Empire really conserv conserving his forces. Now we got Hospitaler uh, Crossbowman in the mix. Was that a mortar? I think so. Is the mortar still alive? Yes. We got one mortar here, trying to, still trying to get kills. And I think now would be a good opportunity to use the uh, mangonel. You know, saving it for the final push would be best. Whenever you have a mangonel, you must really think on when to use it. It's so important to use it right at the right time. This would be a great time to use it. Look how, look how clumped up they are. Though earlier, using it earlier wasn't that bad of an idea either. They got a bunch of kills. I mean, look at all the burnt bodies. I mean, look at this battlefield here, guys. That was a brutal fight. But the fight is only going to continue to be brutal. Over here. This very, very intense infantry fight. Oh. I love watching giant axes sweep troops' feet. It's so awesome to watch. It's so funny, too. Look at all these these troops. Look at them all. Look at them all. They got troops over here now setting up. Look at that. What, what's going on over here? It looks like they're just kind of forming up, preparing to attack this flank. It's going to be a tough, a tough assault because there's only two choke points. Here comes another mortar round. And I guess that hit nobody. I didn't see it land. Here comes more reinforcements from the defenders. They're, they're desperately trying to hold this position, this choke point right here. Oh my god. Overhead smash. Overhead smash! <laughs> Holy Roman Empire, come on. Push in, push. Your Imperial Knights, they want blood on their maces. Oh god, that guy got sweeped. I love it, I could watch it all day. It's almost as entertaining as the Mangonel. Almost as entertaining. Look at that. Look at that Latin con right there. Oh, he's retreating now. Unfortunate. I wanted to watch him fight. Okay. Uh, we got some archers up here that are breaking. They're scared to death. <laughs> it says fighting to death, but they're just standing there like a deer in headlights. So I just, in my brain, I was like, oh, they're scared to death. They're just standing there. Oh, very, very smart decision here by the Kingdom of Jerusalem using their crossbows to fire at the defenses. If you're going to see defenders hold choke points like this, use your crossbows, fire at them, try to weaken their defenses before you go charging in. Uh, but there is a small battle still going on over here. Uh, the Mingonel is kind of in the way, making it a little bit slower, but uh, we've got the Forlorn Hope, we've got some Byzantine folk over here, and they're fighting off the Knights of Antioch. Yeah, I was just trying to get around this Mangonel. They're like, damn, Mangonel, in my way. Curse you. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Full-on fight here, guys. Varangian Guard are in the mix. We've got the cannons, the holy cannons of Sepulchre or whatever. Uh, they're going in. They're charging in. Oh, oh, the Byzantine. Oh, my God. Watch this. What? Oh, wait. Where, where is this? Oh, no. He was about to... He was about to... Oh, my God. Those Papal Guard sweeping people. That was the most amazing general death because it was a sweep and then he was about to do an, like an overhead stab and we missed it. There's the general right there. That was amazing. That was a great general's death. Yeah. All right, ranging guard about to be flanked by some pike militia. Papal states doing the best they can. Antioch doing the best they can trying to hold this position. And he, they are really committing a lot of forces over here. 
I mean, mostly it's the Byzantine guard over here. Oh, another good mortar hit there. I don't know how long the Papal Guard are going to hold, but oh, I love the Papal Guard. I, I love to watch them. Oh, that guy got sweet. <laughs> it's such a goofy animation. I love it. Ranging Guard fighting off the, the enemy. It's very loose fighting over here. A lot of, a lot of soldiers have space to fight. Uh, they're keeping back these... Oh, man, look at... Oh, man, look at that. Oh, he just chopped his head off. That was amazing. And the, the animations just never get old in this game. Never get old. Uh, but here we go. We got to push over on this side as well. Um, looks like the Holy Roman Empire is pretty hesitant in charging in their forces. Um, this is getting a little, little scary for the attackers because they are running out of troops. Uh, they need to win over here. Oh, do we have the uh, flamethrowers over here? Trying to form up on the hill, but the the holy the cannons of Holy Sepulchre, they're not going to allow that. They're going to go after those uh, Greek fire throwers, try to kill as many as they can before they start setting their soldiers aflame. But they are pushing them back, that is for sure. The attackers are being pinned back, being pushed back, and that was amazing charge by them. I, I was expecting the attackers to win that engagement, but it looks like so far the uh, the defenders are winning this fight out here. Look at this! Look at the swords for the cannons of the Holy Sepulchre. So awesome. And the fight is going on over here. Uh, this is going to be a very very important fight. They need to break through. If they do not break through, they are going to lose this battle. That is for sure. And these Papal Guard, they are a tough unit to crack. They're not the greatest unit, but they are really, really good at holding the line, holding choke points. And the fight over here is, is going pretty poor for the Byzantine Empire. It's going pretty bad. Uh, we do have some uh, Gothic Knights. Look, look at them badass walking down the street like, come on, Gothic Knights. Let's do this. But the Holy Roman Empire... So we got some reserves over here. Oh, and there goes the general for Jerusalem. Jerusalem, they're in trouble. Their men could lose hope. They could uh, break at any second now. They could break at any second. But they're going to continue to fight on because they believe. They believe in themselves. And when you believe in yourself, you can, you can conquer anything. Unless they have mangonels. Manganels kill confidence. There we go. Gothic Knights charging in. Kind of going through this little gap right here. Man, the two-handed swords in this battle. They're everywhere. They are pushing them back. Here comes more reinforcements. Marshal of the Templars. Beautiful. That's a very large unit there. Uh, hopefully they can go in and change the tide of battle because currently right now the defenders with all their holy of s cannons of holy sepulcher uh, They're just killing and killing and killing that unit is so good in this expansion Remember that unit guys whenever you see them on the battlefield. You must be cautious the cannons of the holy sepulcher so so dirty And here comes a final push by the holy roman empire Got the Great Cross, Great Cross being pushed forward. Give the men the extra morale. We have a Bombard being pushed forward. Oh my god. Yeah, jeez. Oh, and there goes the next Jerusalem general. So now Jerusalem really doesn't have a general. They're, they're out of generals. It's up to their captains to turn this battle around. Here comes more Swiss Guard. A unit of 33. I don't even think they're needed. Oh. Gothic Knights versus Cannons of the Holy Sepulchre. Oh, man. Come on, fight. Fight for your kingdoms. Oh, man. I love the kill animations of the uh, Cannons of the Holy Sepulchre. Epic music going on right now. There we go. 
the defenders are pushing the Holy Roman Empire back. So they're leaving their little choke point and pushing them back. Those Imperial Knights, they will not last for too long. Their morale is a little, uh, little weak there. But the General is still alive. And he's not even bloodied up, so he's got a lot of hit points left. Oh, we got some fighting to the death there. Now they're breaking. Ah, that's, that's a tough sight to see. So I think at this point, guys, it is safe to say that this is a glorious victory uh, for the um, defenders. They just won their fight over here. And I think the game changer, what the reason why the defenders won this battle is because the mangonel. They used their mangonel very, very wisely. Now, again, they lost one of their mangonels over here. Imagine if they had both their mangonels firing at this big fight over here. Or even better, if they had both their mangonels back here firing at this huge choke point of infantry. Very, very intense fighting here, guys. But, of course, the mangonel was the, the deciding factor. Also, if the attackers, if only they pushed forward their mangonel a little bit closer, they could have got a lot... Uh, they could have got a lot more kills, that's for sure. But this is a victory for the defenders. And, uh... Oh, there goes the Holy Roman General. Going out like a champ. And uh, this is just a final push here. They're surrounding... Uh, oh, yes, the Great Cross. Let's... Uh, the Great Cross, they deserve a noble death. Let's just watch their their very brave stand here. Yeah, they're getting chopped into pieces. They're not even really putting up a fight. They do not break. They do not, they do not leave the Great Cross. And dead. And then they're cheering. Huzzah! We'll take the Great Cross now and put the Antioch flag on it. <laughs> so there we go, guys. A, a beautiful battle. A very, very intense battle. We're going to go ahead and fast forward because it is over. I don't know what's going on. Looks like there's a couple units still fighting. Oh, there's a Bombard down here. There we go. Alright, so this battle replay was sent in by Arch, or Arch Duchy Weezy or Weasel. And uh, very, very interesting fighter. The Papal State's getting most of the kills because he was the uh, first one to charge in. Uh, but very good teamwork by the defenders. Good use of the Mangonel. By the attackers here, most of the kills. Um, Byzantine Empire getting most of the kills. 620. The other players here really suffering here. Just getting 300. Oh man, the Confederacy. This guy only got 228. So uh, yeah, very, very cool battle, guys. Let's look at the end results here. See, 109 for the Cannons of the Holy Sepulchre. That is crazy amount of kills. A crazy amount of kills. Um, where's that Mangonel? Mangonel getting only 27 kills. I think that was the uh, the one they pushed forward early. Uh, but we can look at the other Mangonel. Getting 325 kills. What did I tell you guys? Save your Mangonel. Save it for the right time. And you will get around 300 kills. That is amazing amazing so all right guys thank you so much for, for watching and hold on hold on this guy let's see this uh G the what is his name goo kill 44 let's see he got a total of 900 kills 300 of those kills uh was from the mangonel that is crazy that is absolutely insane so all right guys i hope you enjoyed the siege battle thank you so much for sending it in and thank you for watching of course and tomorrow we will have siege battle number three of siege week i'll see you next time mm -hmm.